Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Chris, from Chris's Trains. Um, in the garage today. Um, can't be out in my model train room. Um, doing some reconstructions, I should say. Um, yeah, water got in there. We had a couple bad storms uh, last week and it went everywhere, including my tracks. So, me not seeing the water, and it's underneath the cotto, this little base of the ballast, it went under there where we had my wiring. I didn't see that. You come through where I have my AC at on my window. As you walk through, you'd have a drop bridge. Water went under there. As I kicked power on, a loud pop went off. Um, kind of freaked out a little, didn't know what happened. Um, smelt something. Surely it was burnt wire and burnt track. But um, saved these three, uh, two Jeevos and Dash 9. Or saved nothing that's weird I don't understand nothing else got fried uh, nothing nothing bad happened to anything but um thank goodness because that would have been a lot of money but yeah so I uh, completely took up everything in that in that room in that in that in that shed of where all my trains were at um, there was nothing in there um, patched up all the holes Siliconed where the water had leaked through it's where I installed the AC So this is basically my fault But I fixed that and good thing it was only just a couple of tracks that messed up and a couple of feed wires But nothing bad. Thank goodness But um, yeah, so Today I have an SD42 And a, a GP42R Um this is a this one back here. You can't see him. He's a BNSF. He's a Bachman, um, and this is the Kato uh, Burlington Northern X. It's got the BNSF patch on the side. Um, they're both DCs, and I've got my pins. It came in the mail today. Uh, they're just DCC, no sound decoders. Maybe later I'll do them, but just for right now, just to give me something to do with all this mayhem going on. You know, everybody's stuck in their house, and you know you can only do so much. So I figured why not do this, uh, cleaned up the, cleaned out the train room, everything's clean, gonna redo some stuff in there, make it a different layout maybe, uh, just take my time, there's a plenty of stuff around here for us to all do, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you, um, it might sputter a little, um, I just barely made this little shelf right here, it's only got about 8 feet of track on it, nothing crazy, so I just thought I'd show you this right here, so here's the number 6332, it's got LED lighting, Runs pretty smooth, but like I said, it kind of sputters here on the track because it's not really nailed down or anything. But yeah, it's pretty nice. So yeah, he's it looks pretty good though with LED lighting. You see that BNSF patch right there on the side. So yeah, let's get him out of the way. So uh, yeah, I love that engine. I grew up with that engine actually going up behind my house back in the late 80s and 90s. Uh, been on it a couple times as ever changing out uh cutting cars for grain cars for wheat grain and all that stuff back in back in my hometown. Let's see, 3012. I'm pretty sure all y'all seen these trains already. It's just a Bachman regular. It's a GP40, I believe, yeah. Yeah, it's a GP40. But they all run smooth. So, two more to the collection, which is pretty cool. I've always wanted these as little local switches and stuff. So, it's a little, a little different on the layout besides just Dash 9s and Jeevos, but they are cool though. But, yeah, that's it, and just thought I'd give you a little update. Haven't posted one here in a while. Like I said, with, with all the stuff going on and it's just crazy out there right now, but um, sorry about that. But um, yeah, it's just it's just crazy. But I just thought I'd give you all this update uh, here in my garage, as you can see. Uh, enjoying whatever I can right now. Uh, like I said, yeah. Just did the DCC on those and uh, 
those are still good. And there's some of my tracks and my wiring. There's more tracks in there. And I got some other stuff out there in the shop right now. But um, I appreciate it. And just like I said, um, everybody be safe out there. It's crazy. Um, do it for yourself. Do it for your loved ones. Do it for your friends. And uh, do it for everybody else out here. Be safe. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. I know you can't say it enough. We have always said it before, and now that something like this happens, it's just, just it's something that's got to be done. So everybody have a good day, and uh, stay safe out there, and uh, hope everything goes good. Peace.